afternoon for you. Oregon OSHA just slapped the owners of Wildcat Haven with a $5,600 fine. Now, you might just remember one of their employees was mauled and then killed by a cougar back in November. The state, though, just released its findings, and our Brent Weisberg has the facts. The building behind me is the headquarters for Oregon OSHA. According to their new report, Wildcat Haven committed two serious violations that ultimately led to the death of one of their employees. The 13 page report says Wildcat Haven violated its own two person safety procedure. If there's a lesson for other employers in the state to take away from this, it's to take those practices seriously. A paper program that sits on the shelf is no program at all. According to their own safety plan, a minimum of two qualified staff members are required to be present when making contact with the Cougars. That didn't happen on November 9th. Investigators say Renee Radoswan Chapman was attacked and then killed by one of the cougars inside the cages. The state report reveals that she tried to lock out the cougars, which means she tried to put them in a secure area so she could then work in the cage. In this case, only one cougar was inside the special lockout cage. The report says that wildcat keepers had entered the cages before, putting themselves at direct contact with the cougars. The inspector also found that Chapman was the only one working at the time of the deadly attack. We've also learned that Chapman had talked to the owner several times before the attack and had asked for more help. The other violation focused on the cages themselves. The state inspector found that there was only a light duty gate latch and that there was a poor design exposing the keepers to a potential attack. The latch on, on that cage was uh, really a, a pretty insubstantial latch. It's the same sort of latch that you might get at your local hardware store. For its part, Wildcat Haven released this statement to Coin6 News that reads in part, their greatest priority is to develop and ensure compliance with fail-proof safety procedures. Certainly, um, this was an unusual event. I think it's entirely possible that the employer thought something like this could never really happen. Reporting in Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News.